The other thing that you can do with this, uh, you guys are welcome to come in here at any time. So if we go to the image library, this is a new feature that I've helped them work on. So we go to the curriculum, go to the desktop, and then let's open up this. So I've basically subdivided the body based on regions. So right now we're looking at abdomen and pelvis. Oops, we'll open that and let's look at arterial supply. So the curriculum file basically would allow you to open up a scan. It's got preset views with labels on it. So you could just kind of self test and walk through each yeah. step at a time. So what we're hoping is to kind of decrease the learning curve for the table. So once you've loaded the file, you'll hit this little thumb strip or film strip. And then it'll basically load a preset view. So right now we're looking at the common iliac arteries, right? So you'd follow the descending or abdominal aorta, see a bifurcate approximately L4 to the right and left common iliacs. So then at any time you can still interact with this, you can zoom in and out, you can do what you want, and then you would just pick up with the next scene basically in the view sequence. So now we're looking at the right and left renals. Uh, he mentioned previously, or I overheard briefly, which one's lower, which kidney? Right, typically because there's going to be pushing it down. Uh, the lumbar artery is something that you're going to see a lot with collateral circulation and problems. If somebody's got vascular issues, it's going to reroute typically through these. So they're also going to usually start up about L1, right? So the first lumbar artery is going to be segmentally here, right about L1, and then it just kind of comes right across each vertebral body. So celiac artery, for example, celiac trunk, usually it's about finger width above superior mesenteric in the body. It's going to have three major branches off. You guys remember those? What's this one? It's a common hepatic, <laughs> splenic, and left gastric. Uh, gastroduodenal vessels coming down, so those are going to give off the superior pancreatic duodenals. Um, here you can see the SMA coming down, giving off the intestinal branches. So this is a pretty decent way to go through and just self-quiz, look at the anatomy.